Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. All right, so we've got a giveaway guys. So we've got the MX Master 3 here and then the keys to go along with it from Logitech. Watch to the end of this video to see how to go into the draw to win these two. So welcome back, we've got another tutorial, one of my favorite photographers. So we've done a few tutorials on him before and you guys are gonna really like this one because it's one of my favorite edits I've ever done maybe. So let's get into showing you his Instagram and a bit about his style. He has very warm tones and then very blue tones and then sometimes very green tones. The shadows are very blue, the mid-tones are warm a lot of the time and then there is a matte look throughout the image and then there's quite a crispness to the image as well but it's still kept very natural because of the soft contrast. We're going to be recreating this image and everyone inside the course will have the raw image and settings the dng available to download and follow along but we'll get into this tutorial let's talk about the settings first iso 3200 that's not too high we shouldn't have to do any denoise or anything it's quite dark so 2.8 which is the furthest the 24 to 70 can go 24 millimeters is a really nice focal length for cars and then a shutter speed just to make sure it's sharp because it's probably handheld so let's get into this one so what i've got here guys is the settings for the brushes and stuff already applied because that would be very hard to bounce between so i'll cover these later why i placed each of these so they're already done and we're going to revisit them towards the end so don't worry about them they're going to look kind of odd at the moment everything looks kind of all right at the moment so we'll turn on the curves and i'll just tell you why we're doing these see how the image gets flatter as soon as we turn them on that is because we are bringing down the entire curve here just a bit and then we're adding that fade to the blacks and then i played around with this because this curve is very nice to play with and just little tweaks here and there to match up the contrast and yeah that's a really nice like a silky smooth look you put on top of your image that looks really 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 nice makes it look a whole lot more cinematic when you bring down the exposure and add a bit of a mac to it okay so the curves look great there um, we'll just cover the color so this is the only color change i made in the curves and it's just adding in a little bit of blue to the shadows that is it we don't have any highlights in here really pretty much just is shadows so our image goes pretty blue we get that blue we want so now that we've covered the curves let's come up to highlights so like i would just try to match up the detail i can see um, it's maybe a bit brighter and then the blacks up get that softness like when the black is quite dark it gives it almost a haze when you bring the blacks up and i think this image has a little bit of that and then we'll do the clarity now so that's going to add in contrast as well and then dehaze because i think we need a little bit of haze to this image and we'll bring up the saturation so it's going to maybe look too saturated for now but we'll come into the hsl and touch that up uh, let's bring down the whites a bit shadows okay we're pretty good for exposure and it's kind of just colors um, contrast yeah contrast up and then what i did do is bring up bring up the warmth just a bit to help bring out some of those warmer tones a little bit more okay so we are on to split turning here so we're just going to play with the shadows let's go to shadows and we're just going to pick a really nice teal pretty much the exact color he is using saturation of about 12. now it doesn't look too good now but we are going to bring down the saturation in a lot of these and then that's going to leave us with some nice blues and we're going to mess with the luminance of a few of these as well so like the blues we need to bring these down a lot because we've got blues in our curves and in the split turning okay maybe 
bring up there's no greens in this but we'll bring them down a bit we want the yellows we want the oranges and now just for the color we look a little purple so let's just shift our blues to more of a teal aquas to more of a purple or well more of a blue and then we obviously want richer oranges to our reds so let's do that well we want yeah nice oranges so let's go this direction and then oranges which is most of it we're gonna go for the reds yellows can stay there red saturation not much in this let's bring down the purple and magenta just roughly in line with everything else just because in case they are in the image can't hardly see them um, red luminance let's add a bit of a shine there and then blue luminance I think we need to bring this down a bit I quite like the effect of that so it's just the brightness of the blues that are coming down sort of deepens those colors make it more moody cinematic maybe okay so as for sharpening we're just going to go with the default but we'll bring up the masking to about 70 so it's just doing the thicker lines uh, we won't worry about denoise or profile corrections or anything now vignetting we will go for a slight one and we will f take it out of the highlights now you can hardly see it doing anything but that's what we'll go with and then grain very hard to see grain so we're just going to do a little bit yeah just adds a little bit of texture let's keep working here let's just bring those yellows down a bit maybe they can sit about there oranges maybe bring down the luminance the yellows they all kind of affect the same area you just got to play around to see which one otherwise we are looking good okay so now i'll just take you through the brushes that were already done and realistically you'll be going back and forth back and forth so let's look at the filters so obviously i just wanted to bring out the lights a bit more so i've got like dehaze here kind of giving a glow to the lights a bit of exposure doing the same thing and then we've got a little bit of warmth just to add a bit more color um, saturation to add a bit of color there as well same over here so dehaze is down so adds a glow um, we've got extra saturation for the lights and extra warmth in there to bring out those lights a bit more now we have just this right in the middle maybe don't need this but it's just a touch of contrast ever so slightly to the middle of the car um, down here we have just to affect the entire area in front of the car we've got a lot of blue in this image and we just wanted to really bring out the oranges to complement those blues because they're exactly opposite in the color wheel they look really nice so we have added in quite a bit of warmth down in front of the car that looks really nice we have dehazed down to soften it all to give it a glow that one and then we've got this one right down here just a bit more warmth um, yeah and that's all of those ones now we've got the brushes as well so here we have if I press O this is where, it, where it's affecting 24 warmth and contrast and if I just delete that you can see it's just adding color and stuff to the lights there and yeah that's it there's none of those ones and we are done let's look at the before and after reset come back bang and we cropped in quite a bit there and let's look at his image so his image is screenshot off his instagram is here right now let's go to our image slight changes i maybe should have not brightened the bottom down there as much you might be too many greens I kind of don't like the greens that are hanging around down here so if I just go purples so it gets rid of those greens um, it's probably too bright down there too but I think we're pretty close pretty happy with that guys yeah 
we'll leave it there comment people you want to see on this channel because i go through all the comments reach out to them what i'm doing most of the time is working on the course which now has something like 90 videos and it's how I know what to do in these tutorials, where I break down the exactly what I'm looking for in the image to know what to change. So I'll go way more in depth into the curves and you guys will actually learn how I in depth do these tutorials in the course. And then there's also something like 50 lessons from guest editors where you get the preset and you get the raw image and you follow along. And then I'm also there explaining the why behind their adjustments. So I'll also guide you guys into understanding why these guest editors are doing what they're doing. This course is by far the best investment I've made in myself as an aspiring photographer. Ahead of any gear, ahead of any camera that I've purchased or any lens. Basically everything that you need to know to edit a photo that the way you've always dreamt of editing a photo, you will learn in this course. Little later, I actually develop my own style. I'll try to put like a picture here of what my feed looks like so you can see how cohesive it looks now. So if you want to go into the draw to win the mouse and the keys from Logitech, comment and like on the latest post on the course page, then I will message you if you won and then we'll figure out how to get these to you. They hooked me up with the new MX Master 3, so I love this. And they hooked me up with the keys that I haven't unpacked just yet. They gave me this mouse. So this is the Anywhere Surface one. I keep this in my laptop bag. I absolutely love this one too. So yeah, head over to the course page guys and like and comment the latest post so back to the sponsor of this video squarespace so as a photographer your aesthetic of your website is extremely important you want to make sure you're displaying your work the best way possible to attract the clients you want to work with squarespace has the most intuitive tools to design your website exactly how you like or use one of their award-winning templates to display your gallery squarespace covers all your needs so go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to the link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.